Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. I'm so excited to do this reading. I have a very good client of mine who's always purchasing readings from me and this time she says I want to have a, a reading on this Thailand couple and his name is Husawi, I hope I don't butcher this, Pakra Pon Bisan and her name is Mukta Narin Rak. And I'm just going to call them by their first names because it's just so much easier. Uh, I'm excited to do this reading. And I really hope you guys are excited to watch it. Uh, I want to thank my subscriber for allowing me to post this public. Because not everybody can afford to purchase a reading. So it's kind of paying it forward and making other people happy. She has a big heart. I have a... I, I'm always happy. To, to do readings you know that's what I do that's what makes my heart sing you know um, uh, I'm a clairsentient clairvoyant so for anybody who is new to my channel I read people I read people's energy that's what I love doing best and I'm I think I'm pretty good at it um, and I'm also clairvoyant so I see I can see images like you know numbers in my mind and dates and you know things like that I can see people so someone's like oh what's my husband gonna look like tall thin dark hair blah 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 you know so so I can pick those things up so if anybody out there is interested in purchasing a private reading my email will be below uh, I offer two services the first one is $57 it's a full reading I you can ask as many questions as you like and I will read until I'm done and the other service is one question twenty dollars five cards and an energy reading which is this is the the reading that my client has purchased she just wants one question answered okay uh, so for so if you want to get a reading on yourself or on uh, uh, your favorite celebrity email me I'll get back to you within 24 hours and the turnaround time is less than five days Okay, I like to have my turnaround time uh, quick. Okay, uh, and for those of you who are current subscribers, I'm, I truly appreciate each and, and every one of you for popping in and um, watching my videos, commenting, sharing, liking. I read all the comments and, and um, you know, I enjoy I enjoy reading the comments in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee. I wake up, I I, I try and reply back to as many people that I can, or leave a heart saying that I like that comment. Okay, so her email says um, they work together. Uh, they are from Thailand, and their breakthrough performance is from a drama that was aired last year. Was named on on one of the best Thai drama of 2020. Now, let's see here. I would like to know if they are more than friends and if they will have a good future together, acting professionally together and in personal lives. Does he love her? Now, when I first looked at the picture, she sent me pictures of the two of them. And right away I got butterflies. He is very protective of her. I feel he loves her. This, this, like, yeah, this one picture here of the, she, he's got a blue suit, like, like all, like, when I see this picture of him in the blue suit and her uh, sitting together, I automatically, it's just like my heart skips a beat. Um, I don't know, I've never heard of this couple, and I think a lot of you guys think that I'm going to go and do a bunch of, um, uh, research on them I don't do that and other people say well she doesn't research I don't I don't want to do that because it might sway the reading when I look at their pictures I feel they either are like they have crush on crush on each other or they're in love they're falling in love already he loves her and he wants to protect her now this um subscriber said she re this couple reminds her of Liz Quinn it certainly does I get a man that looks after a woman and will protect her and love her dearly. There is there is no egos here. There is no um, you know uh, it's it's just lovely. 
a lovely, lovely relationship. He's, I don't get like he's arrogant or rude. I mean, I feel like he looks after her needs if that's what she wants. Like if she says to him, can you go take my dog for a walk? He's like, okay. Or can you make me breakfast? Okay. He is a caretaker and looks after her. I feel there's something going on here. Whether it is committed or not, or, you know, they're just starting to date. I pick up his feelings very strong and he's in love with her and she's like, she likes him. She's, I feel they're falling. If nothing else, they're falling for each other. Okay. Let's see what the messages are regarding, uh, I'm going to go out of here, Mukta and Husawi. I looked them both up. They're both airy, uh, both Leo. Mukta. There's a lot of passion here between the two of them. There's a lot of passion. He looks at he 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 looks at her like his absolute sweetheart. And will do anything for her, is what I'm picking up. What are the energies between Mukta and Husawi? Mukta and Husawi. What are the energies between Husawi and Mukta? I'm excited about this couple. So the very first card we have here is the Ace of Coins. This talks about beginnings, prosperity, winning, business. It symbolizes money, success, or other achievements. It's about receiving money via new work, receiving a windfall. Additional meanings include finding a new enterprise or a stable relationship. This relationship is stable. He's minding his P's and Q's and he's making sure that he is going to treat her right and make sure he doesn't give any bad impressions. They met through work, maybe. Okay, he says they worked here. I don't know if they met before that, but this is saying that there's this new beginning here of uh, work related, money related, and there's success with that. Okay, then we have the Eight of Swords. This talks about self imposed restrictions, isolation, imprisonment. It's like somebody is kind of caught up in their head. I think it might be her. She's got, might, may, might have some worries here. It's overthinking, worried, trapped in a situation that she can't get out of. Um, I don't feel this has anything to do with him, but maybe the perception of what people feel. Uh, the Eight of Swords speaks about. Overthinking, restrictions, incapacity. Um, the eight, the tarot's restriction card shows you hemmed in by your thoughts. You may feel forced to fulfill an obligation or to conform to an idea that isn't you. So, so I don't know if there's a perception out there of her a certain way, you know, and she doesn't want to conform to that and she's kind of stuck in her head. Additional meanings is hitting a relationship roadblock. But I, I feel he is going to try and get her out of this. So she doesn't feel this way. Okay. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is fulfillment, comfort, prosperity. So this Nine symbolizes satisfaction and prosperity. Financial worries are over. Projects get completed and your efforts bring material benefits. You feel happy and at home with yourself. And the past sac sacrifices that you have made are worthwhile. So I feel that they're together, they are happy and at home with themselves, surrounded by beauty and love. You know, this is luxury, self sufficiency. There's a lot of financial gain here. We have the four, four of Wands. This is a minor marriage card. This is stability again. Fours are stability in the tarot deck. And this is about celebrations, it's friends, this is wedding. You know, um, you can see he, how happy these two people here are. There's, um, there's a, 
uh, a strength, a positivity, and I feel like there's a good support system around them. Like if they are dating, I feel it's a great support system. Parents like them, friends like them, that can't be more than happy for them, okay? And then we have the star card. And the star card talks about um, renewal, hope, inner clarity. It's about miracles. This is talking about hope, wishes, healing, creativity. The star asks you to keep the faith because opportunities and reward will come. Okay? Um, new directions in relationships. Okay, new direction in a relationship, going from co-workers to starting to get to know each other and having that relationship. Okay. Relationships are harmonious. And if you are looking for love, you are now ready to be with your soulmate. She is a little bit, I feel like she's just a little bit leery, but he's there. I feel like he's giving her the confidence and the stability that she needs to move forward with this. But I believe that there's something going on here between the two of them. I really do. He like he he really likes her a lot. He's and he he wants to look after and take care of her. Okay. All right. There you go. That is my first couple from Thailand, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please share, like, subscribe, um, and uh, comment. Put it out there. The more you comment, the more it'll go into the algorithms. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.